Hello and welcome to the Space Reader Summer Reading Program. More information and how to earn prizes is available at the end of this video. My name is Miss Amber and I will be reading to you today. We will be reading a chapter book as part of the Great Galaxy Readers Program. Let us open with a prayer. If you will bow your heads and repeat after me. Thank you God for this day. Thank you, God, for family, friends, and health. Thank you, God, for the universe you created. Thank you as you guide us in the days to come. Amen. Today we'll be reading from the book Stink, Solar System Super Herald by Megan McDonald. We're going to be reading two chapters. The first one is Short Stuff. Early the next morning, Stink's team stood out in front of the school. As the buses pulled up, Captain Pluto and the underdogs waved their signs. Rotten Riley marched up to Stink, hands on hips. School hasn't even started yet, she said. Mrs. D said we could do this only during recess. Who can wait, said Stink. Riley turned and stomped away. Oh, you just wait. I'll get you for this, Stinky Moody. That's Captain Pluto to you, yelled Stink. And the underdogs, yelled the underdogs. At recess, Captain P and the underdogs waved signs again. They shouted stuff. They even sang songs, R-E-S-P-E-C-T, that's what Pluto means to me. Stink sank at the top of his lungs. Give me a P, Skunk yelled. Give me an L. Give me a U. Give me a T. Give me an O. What have you got? Pluto yelled the underdogs. I can't hear you. Pluto! screamed the underdogs. Soon, nearly half the whole playground was screaming too. Then out came Rotten Riley and the KPBs. They were dressed in black from head to toe and carrying shovels. Are they wearing garbage bags? asked Sophie. Sure enough, Riley and the KPBs had on black garbage bags with holes cut where their heads and arms poked through. Somebody yelled, who forgot to take out the trash? We're not trash, said Riley. We're dressed in black because we're going to a funeral. Huh? What? FYI, Pluto died. Pluto is D-E-A-D, -E dead. Then Riley and her rotten team began to dig in the dirt. But they were not planting a garden. They were not searching for buried treasure. They were digging in a grave. A grave for Pluto. We've been skunk, said Skunk. Riley took out a tiny plastic ball. Pluto is officially dead, she said, dropping the ball into the hole and covering it over with dirt. Goodbye, Pluto, said the KPBs. Sure, we'll miss you, but you're not a planet anymore. When they were done, they put up markers in the dirt, like at a pet cemetery. Moment of silence, please, said Riley with a serious face. A hush fell over the second grade crowd, and the playground was dead silent. Her marker said, here lies Pluto, once a planet. R.I.P. Rest in Peace, 1930 to 2009. Pluto's butt got kicked here. Stink felt like he was in a black hole. He couldn't help it. He spoke. He broke the spell. Pluto is so not dead, Riley Rottenberger. Stink walked away at warp speed, leaving a dust trail behind him. Er the title of our next chapter is, amazingly, Er. Stink had to think, think, think. He had to think up a way. Smart Pluto plan. A rottener than Riley plan. Something that would convince Class 2D and Mrs. Dempster that Pluto wasn't dead. But what? Stink fed Toadie. Stink talked to Astro. Stink drove and drove and drove. His car bed, that is. All the way to outer space. Stink's race car bed was covered with tons of bumper stickers. I break for skinks, world's oldest ham museum. Don't poke the Yeti. James Madison slept here. Stink stared at the bumper stickers. Suddenly he saw them in a brand new way. Faster than you can say rat bird. That's Mars Rock, not Rat. Stink had an idea, a plan. Stink took out that Make Your Own Magnetic Bumper Sticker Kit. 
that he had gotten from Judy for his birthday. He made a brand new bumper sticker, a perfect Pluto bumper sticker. All I needed now was a bumper. Stink knew just the bumper and just the car for Operation Bumper Sticker. Now all he needed were the underdogs, his team, a few good friends to be his lookouts. The next morning before the bell rang, Captain Pluto and the underdogs met under the big maple tree by the teacher's parking lot. Listen up, said Stink. It's not just a plan. It's more like a mission. You know, to help Pluto? Yeah, Mission Impossible, said Webster. Impossible that you won't get caught and get in big trouble. I won't get caught, said Stink. That's why I have you guys. Okay, we're in, said Skunk, staring, starting the secret Pluto handshake. I just need you guys to be on the lookout while I sneak up to the car, said Stink. Make sure no teachers are coming. We'll be like spies, said Webster. Outer space spies, said Sophie. If a teacher comes, yell out the secret code, said Stink. What's the secret code, asked Skunk. Erp, said Stink. Just say, erp. He grinned. Okay, places everybody. Skunk hid behind the tree. Webster ducked behind a trash can. And Sophie crouched behind a bench. Stink looked left. Stink looked right. The coast was clear. He scooted across the parking lot. He ducked behind a green car, darted beside a black van, and scooched over to a blue minivan. He pulled the bumper sticker from his back pocket and in a split second stuck it to the blue mini bumpers, mini's bumper. Honk if you love Pluto. Erp, Sophie called out in a loud whisper, but Stink didn't hear her. Erp, 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 yelled the others. Stink stood up. Right smack in front of Stink was a teacher, a tall teacher. Judy's teacher, Mr. Todd. Hello there, Stink, said Mr. Todd. Hot. Hi, Mr. Toad, I mean Todd, said Stink. Checking out the Mini, huh? Great little car, roomier than it looks. I've been thinking about getting one of these guys myself. Saves on gas. Yeah, gas, said Stink, backing up to stand in front of the top secret super sneaky bumper sticker. Well, we both better be getting to class, don't you think? Yeah, class, said Stink. Stink and Mr. Toad headed for the front door followed by the three super sneaky second grade outer space spies. Mission Impossible had just become mission accomplished. Thank you for listening today. Next week we're going to read No Good Rotten Recess. That'll be our new chapter. Remember to watch at the end of the video <clears throat> for information about our program and how to earn prizes. You can also look on our church website. Let us close with a prayer. If you will repeat after me. Dear Lord, throughout today, guide my words and work and play. Bless my friends and family too, and keep me safe in all I do. Amen. Remember, check after this video for all the information. Hope you enjoyed the story. Bye now.